In this video, I'm going to show you how you can animate a table to appear one row at a time. Of course, this method could also be used to make it appear one column at a time. But unfortunately, PowerPoint doesn't make this particularly easy to do. But what I'm going to do today is show you a step-by-step -step method and try and explain it really clearly, showing you how you can actually make PowerPoint do this. So the first step that I'd always recommend is that you select the slide, then you go copy, and on you see you've got this drop down, press duplicate, and that will give you another slide. You can delete the original slide later. It just means if you mess anything up, you haven't actually ruined your table, and so you've got one to start again with. Now what you need to do is select the entire table. So I've now selected the whole table. What I want to do is I want to copy it. So I press the copy button here. Then I'm going to do something a little bit strange. I want to paste, but I want to paste something very specific. So when I go over to paste, I want to use this drop down. I want to select paste special, and it will bring up this menu. I want to select this one here, which is picture enhanced meta file. So I select that, and then I press OK. It's now made a copy of the table, but in a different form. I'm selecting the table behind and I'm just going to delete that. So I don't want to be working with that one. So I've got this one here. This is actually a picture. So if I go to the top ribbon here, I've got picture format. I'm going to select picture, picture format. And then what I want to do is I want to ungroup it. So I go to the arrange bit here and then I can see group. Select the drop down and then press ungroup. It will come up with this message. So you just want to press yes to this. We do want to turn it into a drawing object, so let's press yes. Now we need to repeat what we just done, but instead of with a picture, we're doing it with a shape. So we select shape format here, go to group, and then select ungroup. What this does is it's actually separated everything out, so we can deal with one thing at a time. So I'm going to click on this white space here so it's not selected. I'm then going to open up animation, so I've got that ready. What I want to do is I want to have it all appearing one at a time and it's separated everything out. So I've got text boxes sitting on top of all the individual blocks. I'd recommend to make things easier, you probably don't want to use tables that have got all of the lines on them. Otherwise, you'll have to animate each little bit of the line separately, which is going to be difficult. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select here, that's selecting the outside, and then I'm going to hold down shift, select title one, then I'm going to select the box here, and then select title two. So I've basically selected each individual thing, right? And I want to open animation and then we've got advanced animation. I'm going to select here, add animation. I'm going to select appear. I'm then going to do the same thing for the next row, selecting everything, then add animation appear. And then for the next one, again, I'm using the shift key and holding it down while I select those and then add animation and appear. If you just wanted the text, you would just select the text and you can just leave the table alone. And that will have the text appearing on top of the table. So if I open up the animation, I can see there's the first appearing, the second appearing, and the third appearing. What's also sometimes quite useful to do is if you open up animation pane, you can see exactly what's happening and you can drag things around and change things just to get it exactly as you want it. So I hope this video was helpful to you and it makes sense how you can animate the table step by step. If it was helpful, please like and subscribe below. And finally, thank you very much for watching.